Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is really feeling like fall. It's cloudy out, there's a chance of rain. It did rain overnight, so it's a lot cooler today. I just feel like getting a nice warm drink and cuddling up with one of my cozy mystery books. But before I do that, I want to get some fall decorating done. So let's get started in my family room. Here is my mantle, how it looks right now. So we got to get some fall going on here, get this room all comfy cozy like. I'm going to be leaving my lanterns and I will be using my antlers there, but I'm going to re be removing everything else except for of course the window that is hanging there. So let's get everything taken off of this mantle for a fresh start. So I've taken everything off, I've cleaned off the mantle, I've even taken the candle out of the small lantern because I'm just going to put a few fall pieces in there. Now the first thing I want to get started on is putting something on the window. So here is my autumn market sign that I made a few years ago. The back side is actually a Christmas sign that says joy, so I thought it would be nice to make this be double duty. That is just a stencil that I got and I added some chalk to it to make it look like it's uh, chalk art. The next thing I've added is one of my wood risers that has the bark on it. And I have a dark brown glass vase that I got at the thrift store a few years back. I also have this other glass vase that's a more amber color that I got at the thrift store. And I've added it next to the dark brown one. I'm not going to be putting anything in the smaller one, but the big one is going to get some naturals in it. So I have some pieces from my yard uh, from our previous home in here, and then I've also added some wheat in here. Now over to the right, with the lanterns, I added another one of the wood risers with a grapevine pumpkin. That is also a purchase from the thrift store many years ago. Then I'm going to add another pumpkin here, and this is a DIY pumpkin that I did to mimic a pumpkin that I already have, which I'm going to be putting that next to the amber glass vase here, and there it is. I also have a real small one that I made too, and I'm gonna add it next to the big one here. All right, so I love how this looks so far. I could leave it just as is, but you know what, you know me, I've gotta add some fall foliage. So let's get started on that. I'm actually gonna start up here with the autumn market sign. I'm gonna put some foliage just at the very top to cover up all of the wire that I had to use to hang it here. So I'm gonna be doing this evenly on each side. I've done more of a natural color here first. Then I have a little pop of orange. This has uh, got some pit berries, some little tiny pumpkins, and it has some rusty stars on it. Then I want to add a pop of color, so I used the fall foliage here with the yellow. And in the middle, I just have another one that's more of an orangey yellow but I gotta add a few more pieces. It's a little bare looking there. So I'm gonna add a little pick that I have that has some leaves on it, and I have two pumpkin picks here. There's more of a close up here of everything. Okay, and I love these uh, grapevine pumpkins picks that I got at Hobby Lobby a few years back. So here is how it looks so far. Again, I could leave it just like this, but you know me, I gotta add some more fall foliage. Yes, we gotta go full blast here. So I have another pick here that has a little bit of berries on it and some of the yellow orange flowers. We're gonna get closer here. Added another pick plus another one of those grapevine pumpkins. All right, so let's move over here to the two pumpkins because we gotta add a little bit in between them. So I have this uh, faux wheat-like pick first, and then I'm gonna find something else, just some little pieces that I have laying around. I got these berries, I think they blend in very nicely. But I'm gonna add one more little piece. So I had a little piece of some pit berries with those little pumpkins that had fallen off one of those other picks. So I think that looks perfect there. So now we're gonna move over to the right side of the mantle, and we're gonna add some foliage right here. And of course I need to add just a little bit more. We gotta get some more yellow orange in here. Okay, so I think this is looking really nice. I also decided to start bringing back the antlers and I kinda like the antler sitting right here. 
but we're going to finish over here by the pumpkins first. So here's another one of those pumpkin picks. I think that looks perfect right there. And now let's focus over here. I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff in the small lantern here. So I added a few uh, fall picks in here and I had another pick that had a white pumpkin on it, which I thought was perfect for over here to coordinate with the white candle. And then of course I added another pick in here with the grapevine pumpkin, some fall foliage, and a pine cone. And I'm not going to do anything inside that lantern, so we're going to pan over to the left here. And I went ahead and added the other antler right here. Now of course the middle is a little bare. I didn't know what to put here, so I had to go down the basement and find something. I decided to add one more of my little risers, and I was going to put a metal pumpkin on here, but I changed my mind. And I found this beautiful uh, leaf pick that I had, and I love the colors. It coordinates great. That's the first thing. And then I remembered I had huge pine cones. So I put one of my biggest pine cones here. I love this one here. And I added two more, a little bit smaller ones next to it. Of course, we've got to add a little bit more in here. So I scrounged around and I found some pieces of some other picks, and I just pop them in. So I think this looks perfect. That's all I need to do here. So let's check out and see how it looks. Yes, this is perfect. I love it. And we're going to leave it as is. Of course, I need to do the bookcases on each side. And I'm going to pan down here because I'm going to put something down here. We really don't use a fireplace, so I can set some things inside of here. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the mantle up close. Now I turned on some lights in here, it's a little dark, and these have a little more of a yellow tone to them, but it's perfect for the fall colors. All right, my sweet friends, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and that I could give you some ideas on decorating your mantle for fall this year. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.